We are packed with guests this week as we count down to Super Bowl 52. Tomorrow, Todd Gurley will be here. And Wednesday, we've got Jason Witten and Keenan Allen on the show. It's all this week right here on Undisputed. Cavs owner Dan Gilbert and several team scouts were on hand Saturday to watch Trey Young and Oklahoma lose at Alabama. Young currently leads the nation in points and assists, averaging close to 30 and 10. The Cavs own the Nets' first round pick in the draft. Hmm. 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 Skip, what does this tell you? Interesting. Mm -hmm. I thought of you, Mr. Sharp, as I watched this entire game on Saturday here in Los Angeles, and I'm sitting back watching Trey Young in the University of Oklahoma against Colin Sexton of Avery Johnson's Alabama, and they're going back to back, back and forth, head to head, and they keep talking on the telecast about all the scouts there, I don't know, 50-odd scouts, and then all of a sudden, I believe it was Fran Priscilla who dropped a little bomb that w w Dan Gilbert is there with, a, I think he said six of his scouts? Mm -hmm. What? And I'm thinking, aha, Dan Gilbert sent a little message to one LeBron James. Maybe he's firing a little shot across LeBron's bow because he's basically indicating, maybe I won't trade this pick. Maybe Do I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. And I might use it on one of these two point guards. Whichever way, I must admit, I'm less sold than I used to be on Trey Young. I wasn't that impressed with him in this game against Colin Sexton. That's just me. I don't know which way they would go. I think Trey Young, by the way, is a better passer than he is a scorer, especially on the NBA level. But once upon a time, not too long ago, LeBron, who's had Trey Young at his camps, called Trey Young special, right? At a shoot around. As did Steph Curry. Yeah, okay. So is Dan Gilbert thinking, well, maybe LeBron would want to stay to play with Trey Young? I doubt it. Mm -hmm. I, and I'm, I'm going to bet against that one, but. Again, is Dan Gilbert saying, hey, onward and upward here, we got to do what we got to do. We got to prep for using this pick in the draft, the Brooklyn pick, as well as our own pick, because it looks like the big fella's going to be gone again. He's going to try to leave us high and dry. That was my interpretation. Well, don't we worry about what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. First of all, Dan Gilbert said in signals, we don't even have his number in our phone. Oh. So he can't send nothing to us. Yeah. And we don't do smoke well, signals. Unfortunately, he is your owner. Right? That's okay. Yeah, that's who you work for. N no. Yeah. We work together. Oh. He just happened to pay me while I'm doing my work. Oh. Skip, all, it, all this tells me is Cleveland's doing their due diligence. First of all, Dan Gilbert don't know anything about picking. Because if he did, he wouldn't pick Anthony Bennett. So. I, and I believe he did pick Exactly, Anthony. he did. I, I will give you that. They're doing their due diligence. Mm -hmm. You look at, they had, uh, what's the kid, the other kid, Sexton? Colin Sexton. Colin yeah. Sexton. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a good player. Go down to Duke. Mm -hmm. They got three or four guys mm -hmm. that's going to be top five picks. Mm -hmm. Mainly Marvin Bagley the mm -hmm. third, mm -hmm. he for real. Now Michael Porter, the guy that was supposed to go to the University of Washington, that all of a sudden went to Missouri, Earth. but had the back injury. Mm -hmm. He's no. another six ten no, big no, guy. No, I, I got you. They're they're looking at this because the Brooklyn pick doesn't look quite as good right. as it was. So and that's what I'm. That's they're what, looking down the line a that, little bit. Well, maybe we can get a point guard. That's what Braun saying. Look, look on down the line. Hey, who knows? Nets win a couple more games. That might be ten or eleven. Mm -hmm. Gonna get over. Go get DJ. DJ. Hey, DJ. Mm -hmm. Hey, DJ. Oh, DJ in Cleveland with Braun. Who are you talking about? DeAndre Jordan. Jordan. Are you? Yeah. Where did that come from? And, Lou, and, and Sweet Lou. Mm. We, this is what we're going to do. Well, you're not, you're, wait, you're going to go acquire both of them? Yes. For what? The we, whole fran You're going to no, give up the whole Cleveland franchise? No, we'll for? give you a Tristan. Yeah. We'll give you that pick. They don't want any of that? Yes, they do. They don't want Tristan. Yes, they do. Stop! You trying to talk him out of it. He, he want to be right here. He, uh, uh, he, about, to have a, he about to have a kid. Oh, and correct. he don't need to be, uh, uh, Chloe don't need to be commuting back and forth. She about no. to be eight, nine months pregnant. No, Tristan would love that. Yeah. They advise you not to fly once you get to pass what? You see that big old baby they had in South Carolina, 14 pounds? What? Already. What are you talking about? Yeah, there was a baby. lady had a baby in South Carolina. Oh. Clemson offered her a scholarship. Oh. Be in the first grade tomorrow. Okay, so but that's anyway, going to be part of this deal? Yeah, Tr Tristan. We okay. want Tristan to be close to Chloe. She shouldn't be flying cross country. That's what we want? Yeah, that's what we want. Okay. And we're going to package that. With we'll, what? With what else? Now, just if you listen to me, we got the Brooklyn <laughs> pick. We'll give you the Brooklyn pick. Mm -hmm. We'll give you Tristan if you give us Lou Williams and DeAndre Jordan. And hey, we'll give you some. But you understand, if LeBron won't commit for at least one more year or two more years or at least, the, you know, the at best case, three more years, w why would you give up that pick? You can't trade it now. You can have the pick. Do you remember what happened the last time LeBron left and you had picks, number one picks? 
You remember what your franchise looked like? You won 21 games. You won 30 games. You won 36 games. Is that what you want, Dan Gilbert? Okay, but why would Dan Gilbert give away what's left of his future for a present that's only going to last through the final? I would trust LeBron James. Huh. To LeBron, LeBron, LeBron strikes me as a guy that if he thinks you're trying to do what's in the best interest of the organization, which is win right now because that was the only reason I came back, you gave me your word when I looked into your beady little mm -hmm. eyes. Yeah, that's After all true. the I things that you that. said to me, yeah. I should punch you just on GP alone for saying that I would agree that with that. But well, you, why did you come back to work for a big, man who just burned you publicly? Because he looked, said you quit on the team in the final series against Boston. Because and when I was on that 650, he told me, he would do whatever it took. He would spend in the luxury tax to give me that. And also, when I was done with basketball, he would allow me first chance to buy this team. Mm. Well, so it's operating off of the word of someone that mm. publicly wrote to yeah. him in Comic Sans. Yeah. That is correct. And just for the, let's do your hypothetical. You think DeAndre Jordan's going to change life in Cleveland? Because I don't. I do. Because mm. I already know he's going to give me 11 and 15 a night. Mm. That's what he's going to do. 11 and 15. 11 what? 11 point 15 <laughs> boards. 11 what? points? Yeah. From the free throw line? No, dunks a lot. Oh, oh no, you know he's dunking on everything. Mm. Anything come off the rim, you know he's dunking. Mm -hmm. He's shooting the highest field, uh, field goal percentage from, so that's what he does. Why are you worried about well, what, what we're going to do? fourth quarter liability? No, ain't no such thing, no liability. Oh. No, we got Brown on the court, everything's okay. Yeah, but he's a shaky free throw shooter, and that guy is much shakier. We won't need the free throw because we're going to be so far ahead. You, <laughs> okay. LeBron and DJ, DeAndre will be out. Yeah. We'll, let, we'll, let, we'll let IT in there with mop-up duty. Oh, you're gonna put you're gonna Isaiah's gonna be the fourth quarter. So yeah, we let him do mop up. <laughs> really? We let him clean up. Lou Boy, there's a lot of pie yeah. in the house. Talking trash to his teammates. We'll discuss that next. <laughs>